welcome to the vlogs. Happy Monday. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh wait, there it goes. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Get back to work! Another beautiful day. What are we doing today? We got lots of stuff. We have things such as a 19 GT3 coming by for some PPF work, a Golf R for PPF encoding. Very nice. We have a 2020 Explorer for enhancement and the Modesta coating. And we already picked up our signature interior for the day. The first step to any good detail is a proper prep job. So the guys are going to start with the Honda Civic, which is getting a signature interior detail and the Volkswagen Golf R. Golf R is a prep paint correction in the front for the paint protection film. Then we're gonna send it over to paint protection film department. They're gonna do a full front clip on that. Just pretty intensive on those front bumpers on the Golf R's. We're gonna add some door cup protectors. It's gonna go back to detail. We're gonna finish the rest of the detail and then it's gonna see Crystal Serum Ultra Full Exterior. It's a super busy day here at the shop while the prep crew is getting the Golf R and the Civic ready for detail. Chris is gonna get started on the Mercedes C300 that was prepped earlier in the week. All right, so today we're working on the Mercedes C300. Uh, first impressions, paint's really neglected, a lot of swirls, rock chips, water spots. Probably been taken through the car wash a lot, the automatic car wash. If you would, just do a light uh, compound and polish on the glass, especially this sunroof here with all this. Yeah, yeah, that top and the back here, you can see it's just covered in water spots. This trim too, we'll have to hand polish this trim a little bit because it's all nasty too. We have one more new detail that we're gonna throw at the crew today, and that is the brand new Ford Explorer ST. Hi, my name is Paul, and this is my Ford Explorer ST. I'm getting cleaning, paint correction, and Modesta. Is this the car that you came in? Yeah. What was I just reading, that these STs the same price as a Corvette. <laughs> no kidding? No kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, they fill a really different role, but god damn. <laughs> They're fast. Are they? What kind of motors in this? I think it's a 3.5 EcoBoost. Um, they're probably mid three or 400 horsepower all wheel drive. What makes it an ST? Uh, probably upgraded turbos and stuff like that. They're quick. It's really messed up. It's gonna take a lot of work, but it's gonna look a lot better in the end. The 2020 Ford Explorer here. This one's gonna get an exterior enhancement detail, polish it up, get some of those fine scratches out of the car so we can get it ready for Modesta BC08. All right, Ryan, I want to go through this car with you, show you my process, what I do, but mostly it's just kind of to teach you how I teach other people on how to do interior detailing. Okay. Ryan's our newest employee in the shop. 
he's going to be our shop foreman eventually. Uh, what we did in the past is actually when we had a manager, we usually just took a detailer or one of our best detailers and then moved him up into the manager position. And he didn't really have the manager skills that we needed. So this time we took a different approach and we hired a guy with management skills and then we're going to teach him the detail skills. Um, what we're going to do is you're going to work on one side and I'll work on the other. Okay. And we'll walk through it and we'll do, um, we'll just go side, side by side. side. So the first step, we're going to use the air hose. Very simple. We're going to just blow out all the compartments, all the cracks, the crevices, the seats, under the seats, uh, and vacuum everything up. This should take about five to ten minutes on a car like this. Uh, if it's really bad, if it has a lot of dog hair, spend the time to get all that dog hair up. Um, if it's a van, we're going to take out the seats. If it's, uh, we're going to go through the trunk and everything. So just air hose and vacuum. Okay. Uh, you do your side, I'll do mine. Grab the uh, floor mats. Not much left of that one. Okay. So when it comes to floor mats, we have two options. Okay. We can pressure wash them. We can soak them with the, the wheel cleaner, the degreaser. If we, but if we don't have to get them pressure washed or soaking wet, we don't. Yeah, I don't want know. that. I'd rather yeah. not get these soaking wet. Yeah. But sometimes this is the only option to clean them. So use your best judgment on that. If you can get them clean with the carpet machine and spraying the top fibers. A lot of times though, if they're really dirty and they got a lot of salt and dirt that's just kind of soaked through there, it'll just keep on coming back up. So these ones are obviously pretty dirty. We're gonna go through. Um, we got, you can use a brush just by hand or you can use this. This okay. is nice to use too, because um, it is a little bit quicker. Okay, that's it. So those are actually not that bad because they're really super thin. Some of the floor mats, you can be here for like 10 minutes rinsing one out. The prep guys are now done with the Golf R. Juan's gonna take that car and do a pre-detail inspection with the GoPro, and then he's gonna get it ready for the film guys. How's it going? I'm Ryan, I'm the new shop foreman here. Today we have this Honda Civic in here where Jason was going over some of the detailing on the interior with me. He was breaking down the whole process for me uh, as I'm new here, uh, getting my hands in there. It's all pretty easy, self-explanatory. You know, there's not anything too hard. You gotta just kind of treat it like it's your own car and that you want the same outcome as if it was yours for somebody else. Much better. Mercedes C300 that's in here uh, definitely needs some love. We're doing an exterior enhancement, so it's not going to be perfect, but we're going to get most of this oxidation and all the small swirls off the vehicle, and then we're going to protect it with Crystal Serum Light. guys have going on today we just have to finish up this model x um and then we have a golf r that we have to finish i never know if i have to look at you or if i have to look at the camera look at the camera all right let me get the right angle three pedals <laughs> what are you guys doing back here breaking sh this got three pedals. Crazy. Grab my hand and I'll show 
we're doing some paint protection film. We're gonna remove this old film that it's got here. It's seamed all the way across, goes down. It's not bad, it's better than what most cars have. Um, and we're gonna go and do the full quarters, seamless install and PPF. Give it a wash through the inside, send it. Three pedals. <laughs> That is. Here, you want me to? I'm gonna blow it out. Woo! <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> Something crazy. Grab my hand and I'll show you funny. Something crazy. I know you want to, want to. So I can make it hard to be done. You guys are working on the new 2020 Ford Explorer ST. This is a sweet looking car. We're gonna be doing some minor paint correction to it. And then we're putting BCO8 on it. Guys are just pulling in the Golf R into the paint protection film room. We did prep on that this morning. That's getting a full front end paint protection film. The Mercedes is looking way better than I thought it would. It's a big difference actually. Uh, we just need to finish up the polishing and it'll be ready for coating. Three pedals. <laughs> hey, are you guys gonna remove the PPF on the GT3 or do you want detail to remove PPF? Yeah, it's got like full ha partial quarters. Remove this? Yeah, it goes all the way down. Okay. Um, you wanna do it? Oh, no. You busy? Don't have Rich Dan take it off. Yeah, can you take that off, please? Yeah, you wanna pull it in or just stay? Oh my god. Three pedals. Three pedal gang. Ooh. So after that step, we're gonna use the plastic conditioner. We're gonna wipe that on all the dash, the doors, and console. Uh, after the final step, when with the drive microfiber, we wipe all the stuff off, all these trim pieces here. We'll use that microfiber towel to wipe them all down. There shouldn't be any fingerprints or any extra uh, type of silicone or, or dressing on any of that stuff. It should look pretty perfect after we're done with this step. Okay. <laughs> Let me call Rob, see where he at. Oh, it's FaceTime. Oh, shit. <laughs> where you at? I'm right here. Are you coming in? Oh, he's pulling up. All right, let's go. We're getting in your car, we're going to lunch. You guys, y'all do slices of pizza? Yeah, we have sausage, pepperoni. All right, we just got back from lunch and we're about to start on this golf bar.
many times are you gonna clean this goddamn window, Ryan? There is so much tape and sap. I've had to sit here and razor blade it all off. It's all over the entire thing. Civic just finished it up. Results speak for itself. Check it out. Ready for BCO8? Guys have just finished up the paint correction on the ST. Now they're gonna bring it into the clean room and start on the coating process. It's so big, You know what I'm saying? That's how mine looks. I know, but it's trash. Oh, between us, it's not really a rivalry because, like, for a rivalry, you need competition. You know what I mean? There ain't no competition. Okay, me and Rob got a rivalry, of course. Of course. It's because right now I'm the king. I run this. I run this town, right? And he's the up-and-coming Mufasa, and he want to take my spot. But. I'm, I'm not, I haven't even hit my prime yet. And he already trying to take it. But he, he ain't there yet. He hasn't flourished as a king. What's that? You say that you don't your chicken. <laughs> Boy, hell no. Boy. I've been having the crown. He just live, you know, if the thing is, he's kind of like living in my shadow. He been trying to keep up. But I feel bad for him, honestly. He's a, he dusty. So, see, that's the thing about Rob. He always want to be me, and he always want to steal my lines. Cause it's like this, Rob. First of all, we not friends, so stop looking at me like that. I got no hate for little Rob. Yeah, but it's all love. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> He's on me. It's all love, honestly. We just joke around, cause at least. We just joke around, you know? That's just what I like to do, be an asshole, but it's all love. Uh -huh. I, I hope so. <laughs> Guys have just finished up the paint correction on the ST. Now they're gonna bring it into the clean room and start on the coating process. They run the shit. What? Huh? What are you saying? Oh, I'm not talking about you. Uh, oh, is it the other kid? Huh? Is that other kid you're talking about? Yeah, it's another guy. Ah, say look. That's not you. Yeah, it's him. I'm gonna just lay it out, all right? I don't care that you got top 10. The Golf R now has paint protection film on the front clip and the guys are gonna move on to the GT3. They removed the factory PPF earlier and now we're gonna be replacing the entire quarter panel with paint protection film. But in order to get the cleanest install as possible, we're gonna take out that rear quarter window. So I'm gonna just get in the car because like yeah. there's a piece of leather that the clip hits on and I don't want you to mess. I don't want to mess with the leather. Okay. So I'm gonna just hold it down. Yeah. And now you're just gonna pull it out and then just clip. Gotcha. I don't want you. Get a little bit farther. And it's out. And now, how long did I take it? What's the stopwatch? Check it out, check it out, check it out. Five minutes. Check it out. With explaining it. Five minutes to take this whole window up. 
Oh, easy. That saves us 45 minutes on install, just picking out dirt, just because we're perfectionists. Bam! That's the end of the show. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please comment down below. I love reading all your guys' comments. I try to answer as many as I can. Thank you guys again. See you next time. On the next episode. Back and out, I see the light shining through the dark.